what are grammars grammars are rules and these rules are these rules define the syntax well in practice uh, you know the, the grammars can be used in theory can be used to do many different things well even in practice they can be they are used to do many different things but in the context of compilers they are used to define the syntax of a language so you can define for example a statement as an identifier equals uh, or let's use uh, ident ident for identifier equals an identifier plus an identifier uh, or oh, equals an identifier plus an identifier or uh, well in this case sorry let's define this using uppercase because now this is above variable I'm, I'm going to make a distinction between these very soon. Identifier plus identifier or identifier minus identifier or where an identifier is to make things simple x or y or z. So, this is a rule. It defines the statement as an identifier equals an identifier plus an identifier. Or, so this is an or, identifier equals an identifier minus an identifier. Where an identifier is x or y or z. So we can derive from this, you derive by substitution. So you can derive from this or you can generate. So this is your statement. What do we mean by deriving? We mean making substitutions to derive specific strings. So what can we substitute for a statement? We can substitute either this option or this option. We have two options and this is or. So we can substitute identifier plus identifier. But we are not done because we have to substitute something for an identifier. So the identifier can be any one of these x or y or z. So let's substitute x for this and y for this. Uh, oh, sorry, I forgot the identifier equals. So, mm, identifier Okay, each one should have its own branch. So this is going to be for the equal and this is going to be for the identifier. And I must substitute something for this as well. So I can substitute uh, y. So these rules derived the string what? y equals x plus y and I think I also forgot the semicolon okay so the idea in grammars is to have rules and to substitute using one of these rules 
you start with each grammar has a start variable in every grammar you have to have a start variable so this is going to be the the root of the tree this is what we call the derivation tree where you start with a statement the start variable then you do this substitution you substitute this for a statement so you substitute identifier equals identifier plus identifier semicolon but then we are not done because this identifier here is a variable in this grammar so in fact we will use the convention the convention of uh, using uppercase words for variables and lowercase for uh, constants or what we call terminals so uppercase is a variable and lowercase terminal and the terminal is in fact is a symbol in the alphabet for this language so at the end when your derivation is complete you should end up with terminals everything should be a terminal so the variables are used in the intermediate steps during this derivation at the end the leaves of the tree should be all terminals so every leaf in the tree should be a terminal and here I have how many leaves I have six leaves so the leaves are these operators and six variable names and the way you read the string that you have derived from a given rule is that you read the leaves from left to right so y equals x plus y semicolon so you read the leaves the derived string is the leaves you read the leaves from left to right read leaves from left <coughs> to right Okay, any questions about this, uh, this derivation? So again, this is what we call a grammar. It has a set of rules or productions, another word for a rule. So this is one rule or production. This is another rule. So this definition has two alternative rules for defining a statement while for identifier how many alternative rules do I have I have three alternative rules I can substitute for an identifier an X or a Y or a Z of course this definition of a statement is extremely limited so this is very very limited later on we will be defining much more uh, general uh, you know grammars for statements or even for uh, expressions okay so now let's see how we can write a grammar for the language for a language that we could not recognize using finite automata or regular expressions by the way regular expressions are generators they generate languages finite automata are recognizers they recognize languages now do you think the grammar is a generator or a recognizer is it more like a regular exp yeah it's a generator it's more like a regular expression it's a uh, it's a generator but there are uh, uh, mechanisms for uh, you know developing recognizers for grammars so and parsing is about developing recognizers for a grammar okay 
So what about this language? L is a n b n such that n is greater than or equal to zero. In fact, this language can be generated using the following grammar. This is the start symbol. A S B or epsilon. How can we use this to derive strings? So let's do one derivation. Let's derive the string A A B B. So again, this is the this is a, a rule. So we have two productions here. This is production number one. This is production number two. Two alternatives. And everything in uppercase is a variable or non-terminal. And everything in lowercase is terminal. Or you can think of the terminal as a symbol in the alphabet. So how do we derive A, A, B, B? We just substitute. So what should we substitute for S? We substitute for S, A, S, B. And we must substitute something for this S because this S is a variable. So we can, should we substitute epsilon or A, S, B in order to get this? If we substitute epsilon, this ends the derivation and we get the string AB. But that's not what we want. We want AABB. So we don't end it here. We substitute for S another ASB. Then we substitute for S epsilon. Now what's the string that we have derived? We just read the leaves from left to right. What's the leftmost leaf? A, then A, then Epsilon, then B, then B. So it's A, A, Epsilon, B, B. And Epsilon is just the empty string. So this is the same as A, A, B, B. Okay, so we have derived A, A, B, B. So clearly, we can derive you know, strings with any value for n. So if we would like to derive a, 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 b, 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 we just do s, a, s, b, then a, s, b, then a, s, b, then epsilon. And this will derive three a's followed by three b's.